Team USA is looking to sweep the men's free ski half pipe competition at the Winter Olympics. The event made its Olympic debut at the 2014 Games in Sochi. Qualifying rounds for this year begin tonight. Colorado native Torin Yader with a very cool name, Torin Yader Wallace, hopes to earn a spot on the podium. He is one of the most decorated freestyle skiers in the world. Don Daler shows us how he overcame life-threatening obstacles on his journey to this year's Olympics. Don, good morning. Good morning. Time and again, 22-year-old Torin Yader Wallace has defied the odds on the half pipe, but it's not this life-and-death sport that has dealt him his biggest challenge. Two years ago, a mysterious illness brought him to the brink of death. Yader Wallace fought his way back and now he is chasing redemption. The freedom and, and just the expression of yourself that, that you have when you're essentially just kind of creating your own path throughout the mountain. It's just that feeling of accomplishment when you've landed the perfect run. I mean, there's really nothing like it. And I mean, whether it's just tricks or just catching air off of a little cliff. Torin Yader Wallace knows how to catch air and floats in control as he flies off a 22 foot high wall. His death defying tricks on the half pipe have helped make him one of the most decorated freestyle skiers in the world. During his first run at Olympic glory in Sochi, Yader Wallace's path to gold seemed inevitable. But days before the games, his mother was diagnosed with cancer. And following an accident during a routine treatment, he suffered a collapsed lung. Yada Wallace finished a disappointing 26th place. Your most life-threatening moment didn't happen on a mountain. It happened because of a tiny little microbe. But you almost were gone. You know, it's uh, often a hard time to think about. Whilst I do a, a dangerous sport that people have uh, lost their life competing in, my biggest life-threatening event was an infection to my internal organs, and uh, I was on full life support and, you know, really was on the brink of death. In 2015, Yader Wallace developed a rare infection in his liver and gallbladder that put him in a 10-day medically-induced coma. Did you know at the time you were that close? So I was in and out of a few doctors, in and out of the ER a few times, essentially told me I had a flu-like virus and, you know, here's some Tamiflu, and things just got worse and worse. From there, I woke up like 10 days later. So, I mean, at, at the time, I really didn't realize the extent of the situation. I was just in dire pain and had never been so sick in my life. His father's absence added to the pain. He was in prison for defrauding clients. And, you know, it's really frustrating for him more so than me when your uh, son is, you know, on his deathbed and might not make it and you can't do anything. The mere act of breathing was a challenge, but Yader Wallace soon recovered and took fate into his own hands. It was um, one of the scarier moments of my entire life, and it was a uh, fluke, and there's nothing I could have done to prevent what happened to me happening. And I mean, ultimately, I just really have to take the good from such a horrible event and use it as motivation to, to come back. And come back, he did. Just two months after his near-death scare, he won the gold medal at the X Games in Oslo, Norway. Now with a renewed sense of purpose, he hopes to persevere one more time. The Olympics is just such a cool opportunity. Everything is, is personal, everything's for you in a somewhat selfish way. Um, so it's kind of that opportunity to go to this tournament of the countries and kind of represent something bigger than yourself. Yader Wallace will soon get another chance to do just that. His mother, who is now cancer free, will be in South Korea rooting for him alongside his sister and his father. Oh, nice. I like everything about him, Don. Yeah, he is a yeah. great kid. He, he's been considered one of the best in the world since he was 14 years old. Uh -huh. So he grew up skiing, and it's like walking for him. Yeah, well, it's beautiful to watch, I'll tell you it that. Is. I like when he said the Olympics is personal. It's yeah. Just you and you and you. He's not afraid of anything now. Uh, clearly. Brady has his family great. around. Thank yeah. you, Don. Sure.